Hi, uh, good morning to all. Uh, I'm just going to show you uh, how to deploy the uh, .NET Core application into cloud by using Azure. So this is a simple uh, .NET Core applications. I just created only app server. I didn't develop any database connections just to understand how quickly we can deploy the application .NET Core any any cloud services i mean any azure cloud service uh, you can develop you can deploy the uh, uh, .NET core in any any OS. it may be a mac or it may be a, a windows servers or it may be a linux machines also so i'm just going to deploy into a, a .NET windows server so let me show you so i what i have done is i created a simple dot uh, net core application so how i created i just tell you the steps okay um, just basically i went uh, i went to here and i created add um, i just created a new project and it asked for so i selected this asp.net core application i click next say then i click create okay then it will ask for uh, different type of uh, projects you have so i created empty so after creating empty uh, it comes like this uh, just cancel it so it comes here okay so and this is my index page uh, if you go to view i'm going to load this this page so usually we will um, now how i'm going to deploy this like i have I will just click a right click and I'm going to publish it. So right click, you have something called publish and uh, you can create your own. Uh, this is your target actually where I'm going to deploy. So there are different way of you can publish it. I can publish to IAS or my local folder or you can create, you can deploy into your VMs, I mean Azure VMs. So this is my app service where it is like managed service. Okay, it will create one template and you will go into deploy into that. So I'm just uh, going to create app service. And before creating, you should have your Azure uh, account. So this is my Azure account. See here, I have app service, which is already have created okay uh, so once i create it will deploy here and it will map to the application okay let me show let me come to here this pipeline uh, i mean this visual studio this is my app service i'm going to create new new profile create new and ask for azure pipeline so i'm going to name the, the pipeline for that i'm just creating azure pipeline dummy okay and this is my subscription where my billing account and this is my region group okay so basically i'm selected the uh, okay i'll create another one okay dummy and so i'm going to select the standard as free because uh, i don't want uh, so this matters actually this is basically telling that what is my infrastructure uh, um, memory and uh, hard disk for this so since it's a uh, i'm going to try it out as a uh, as a dummy thing so i'm selecting free click ok so it's going to host in south central us okay and this one you can right now ignore it since i don't have a database account i mean i don't i have not created any database account connecting app servers and db server so i'm just ignoring this part now I'm going to create this profile. I mean, this app service profile. So once I create it, so it's going to create. So you will come to here, this page actually. So once it's create, you can see my app service will be this app service. Azure pipeline sample dummy will be deployed here. Okay. Uh, Basically, what I am going to telling is I just created a .NET Core project as empty, and after that I am compiling, publishing, and after that through Azure subscriptions I am going to deploying actually. 
So it takes some time. Let me refresh and see. Still, it's not created. So if you see here, okay, still it's creating. See, yeah, it's still creating app service. So basically, app service will create, and that app service, what it will do is it will create an infrastructure for this to deploy this application into that web server. So once it comes up, I'll tell you. So this is the simplest way, but when it comes like uh, different, different uh, applications, like uh, when I commit the changes immediately, I want to deploy. So that times we'll use, uh, we have something called pipelines actually, uh, that we will discuss later actually. We have something called, uh, uh, DevOps project. If you go here, see here. You have CI/CD. So when I, whenever I do the changes, it will take the code and it will build it and it will deploy into this app service applications. Okay, this is my endpoints where I can uh, deploy the application very fastly. So, okay, so let me go to my once again. Uh, my app service. I think it is created. Can you see here? See here. Once I created this project, it is created my what is my URL of that application. So you no need to worry about uh, where to deploy which application. So everything it will take care automatically. So let me go here. This is my uh, app service and it has this is my url okay so it is hosted so let me click here it's not ready wait wait wait, wait. So uh, now uh, what we can do is so okay. So um, it is just created app service. Still, it's not deployed. So what we have to do is we have to publish it. So I'm going to publish it. You can create your own dependency also, but right now I'm just doing very simple thing. Let me go here. It's deploying. See here, it's taking my source code from like local, and it's all it's publishing into my local, and it's adding into this my library. You have W root correct here. All the Bootstrap is adding. It is actually it's deploying here. Okay, I think it is published. See, I'm installing the website extensions, so you can see the, all the logs here. Wow, what are the things it's doing actually? So once completed, it will tell. See, restarting the web app servers. Restarted the web server. Okay. Now we will go here. Oh, I think it is restarted. So this is my web server, correct? See here, Azure deployment. So it has come. Azure deployment. So this is my applications which I hosted here. Uh, see here, when you come to my home controller uh, of oh, this index page, so this is the things which I deployed. 
so it's successfully working okay uh, thank you guys we'll see you in next session